Did you know that some of the world's biggest rap stars have gone from being multimillionaires to filing bankruptcy? It's hard to believe, but it's true. Some of these rappers went broke for some dumb reasons you can never imagine of. So what exactly went wrong for these once successful artists? And how did they end up in such dire straits? Let's get it on. Number 7. Tony Braxton With hits like Unbreak My Heart, Find Me a Man, Let It Flow, Long As I Live, and He Wasn't Man Enough, Tony Braxton is one of the best-selling R&B singers of all time. She's received some of the most prestigious awards in the music industry, including seven Grammys and seven American Music Awards. Fans couldn't believe it when Tony filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in January 1998, as it had only been a little over two years since the release of her international hit, Unbreak My Heart, which not only sold over 5 million copies, but also won the vocalist a Grammy Award. But well, two years later, Braxton found herself embroiled in a challenging legal battle that ultimately led to her bankruptcy. Her application occurred only eight weeks after Braxton launched a lawsuit against LaFace Records and its parent company, Arista Records, seeking to cancel her recording contract. The singer added that her financial losses resulted from reckless spending in addition to the litigation. During this rough patch, Braxton recovered thanks to several album releases and acting roles. Yet in 2008, she was once more in debt. She had a planned schedule of performances scheduled in Las Vegas but had to postpone them due to angina, a condition that causes chest stiffness and pain. She lost millions due to this, which prompted her to file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Number 6. Exhibit Even before he began presenting Pimp My Ride on MTV, Exhibit had a thriving rap career that began in 1996. He had two gold and one platinum album, yet it appeared that his main source of income came from the well-liked program where viewers brought in their beaten-up old cars for custom makeovers. Exhibit and his bank account manager appeared to be caught off guard when the show was cancelled in 2007. It only aired from 2004 to 2007, the year after losing his lucrative TV job he only made $67,000, down from his 2007 earnings of $497,000 per year. This was a dilemma considering the lifestyle he had grown accustomed to in the prosperous years. In 2009, his 7,650 square foot estate was imminently foreclosed upon, and he had residences in California and New Mexico. Also, he leased a Range Rover for $22.30 per month rather than buying one, even though he hosted a show about them. In 2010, he discovered that he owed $1.4 million. Moreover, Exhibit struggled with paying taxes, which he couldn't entirely attribute to the cancellation of his show since he previously experienced payment issues in 2006, 7, and 9. The IRS demanded just under a million dollars in overdue taxes between 2008 and 2010, so they went after their money. In an attempt to declare bankruptcy, Exhibit's paperwork was rejected and liens seized his assets. Number 5. Lil Kim One of hip-hop's most well-known artists, Lil Kim is a Grammy-winning rapper with millions of records sold worldwide. Although pioneering hip-hop musician Lil Kim is referred to as Queen B, it hasn't been simple for her to maintain her position as one of the richer rap singers today. With hits like No Time and Crush On You, this rapper gained popularity in the 1990s and became one of the genre's most recognizable female rappers. Nevertheless, as we all know, celebrity and money may also bring with them some very significant financial pitfalls. After Lil' Kim neglected to pay her taxes for several years, she owed the IRS over $1 million in past taxes. This was when Lil' Kim's financial problems started. She was also additionally sued for unpaid legal bills by her former counsel, for which she was made to pay more than $186,000. To make matters worse, Lil' Kim tended to overspend on expensive cars, fashionable clothing, and jewelry. Her assets included three entertainment ventures worth more than $150,000, a 2005 Bentley valued at $50,000, a 2000 Mercedes valued at $4,200, jewels worth $25,000, furniture worth $25,000, $5,000 in in electronics, and $5,000 in apparel. According to court records, Kim made $823,000 in 2016 and $398,000 in 2017. Despite making an estimated $18,000 monthly, she reportedly spent $10,000 on vacation, $6,600 on her mortgage, $2,200 on her clothes, and $2,300 on her staff. Although Kim boasts of having a net worth of $500,000 today, she had a loan for her New Jersey property that she was nearly $2 million in debt from. This forced her to file a lawsuit to prevent the mansion she purchased in 2002 from being put up for sale. Number 4. Fat Joe 
This iconic rapper is well known for songs like Lean Back and What's Love, but has experienced some difficult financial times. Keeping up with extravagant rap scene in the early 2000s wasn't simple. In terms of chains, vehicles, and clothing, every artist was doing the most. Fat Joe acknowledged that he overdid the flexing during that period and ended up broke in his interview with Elliot Wilson for Title's CRWN series. Fat Joe admitted that he was taking $50,000 out of the bank each day and buying his crew Cadillac trucks. That's crazy. Before his first run-in with the tax man in 2010, Fat Joe put out 10 albums. The amount owed to the state of New Jersey at that time was only $105,000, and he was able to repay it before getting into serious problems. But by 2012, conditions had significantly worsened. Despite making over $3 million in 2007 and 2008, Joe chose not to pay the more than $700,000 he owed the IRS. When he was sentenced, he worked assiduously to pay the bill and engaged in a ton of volunteer work, including donating computers to schools. Joe also acknowledged responsibility, claiming that even though there was a lot going on during the years he neglected to file, he was still accountable. The judge considered all of this, yet Joe was sentenced to four months in jail. In 2016, he got himself in trouble with the IRS again. He owed $1.1 million this time. In a 2019 interview, Joe pleaded with upcoming rappers to have a strong business plan and avoid making the same errors he did, like blowing millions on jewels and private jets. Number 3. DMX The legendary rapper DMX is best known for his songs Party Up and X Gon' Give It To You. But sadly, DMX experienced financial difficulties throughout his career while enjoying enormous success in the music industry. The Guardian claims that DMX was one of the most successful rappers of the late 1990s and had five number one albums. But despite the money that must have been coming in at one point, his finances were a complete mess. According to BET, the court rejected his 2009 bankruptcy application because he unreasonably delayed the process. After he tried again in 2013, it appeared that nothing had changed. According to his manager, DMX's financial pressures had been impeding his career for some years, and the issues were caused by poor financial management by former representation. DMX claimed to have only $50,000 in assets, a meager income of $1,677 a month, and debts ranging from $1 to $10 million, including $21,000 in unpaid lease payments and a staggering $1.24 million in back child support. Yet the judge also dismissed this bankruptcy petition, citing contradictions that gave DMX a bad reputation. In 2016, DMX filed for bankruptcy one more time. This time, he said he owed much more money, had nothing in his bank, and had no other assets. When the IRS finally came after DMX in 2018 for the $2.29 million he owed them, he ended up doing a year in prison for tax evasion. He eventually died in 2021 because of a cocaine-induced heart attack. Number 2. MC Hammer do you recall any of MC Hammer's songs? Some like You Can't Touch This and Too Legit to Quit? These songs were amongst the most well-known of their era, and both made it to the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the late 80s and early 90s, making him one of the biggest names in music. The artist was well-known for his distinctive rhyming style and dance skills, but he was also noted for his irresponsible spending, which finally led to financial difficulties. According to The Mirror, MC Hammer had an estimated net worth of $70 million and an annual income of almost 30 million by 1991. The rapper's California estate, where he lived in a custom-built home, was blamed for most of his spending. The home's construction cost $30 million and contained $2 million in marble, indoor and outdoor pools, three waterfalls and control panels that adjust temperature, humidity, and even draw the drapes. The rapper's additional expenses that included taking care of many horses, a sizable vehicle collection, and a costly entourage that supposedly cost him $500,000 a month. The days of MC Hammer's extravagant spending were short-lived, as he declared bankruptcy in 1996 with only $1 million in assets and $13 million in debt. He owed the IRS and the California State Franchise Tax Board a combined $100,000. Number 1. 50 Cent with millions of albums sold and millions of dollars earned, this rapper was at the peak of his game. As we all know, money can both be a blessing and a curse, but his illicit activities were the root of his major issues. He humiliated Ross's child's mother because of his dispute with Rick Ross. Without the woman's knowledge or consent, 50 Cent bought a sex tape of her, added a voiceover making fun of her, and posted it online. That's not okay. A judge mandated him to make a $7 million damage payment. He was also 
also found guilty of stealing the idea for his G-Unit headphones from another business, and the judge fined him $17 million for that offense. Yet 50 Cent's financial troubles didn't end there. He also enjoyed purchasing expensive objects such as jewelry, luxury cars, and other things draining his bank account. Even worse, he was sued numerous times for anything from unpaid debts to copyright infringement, which resulted in millions of dollars in settlements and legal fees. In 2015, he declared bankruptcy, stating that he owed over $36 million in obligations. Truth be told, 50 Cent had spent his money in some fairly foolish ways. Fortunately, 50 Cent overcame his financial difficulties with the help of some wise business decisions and a little bit of luck. Although his acting and music talents were still thriving, he sold his share of vitamin water for an estimated $100 million. In the end, the question remains, what can we learn from these stories? Is it a matter of financial management or is it simply a matter of bad luck? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more of our luxurious content. And why not click on another video showing now? This is The Luxurious. Talk to you in the next video.